One of the things I also think is a part of the map still that we have not done is technically the, uh... The radio towers and some of the electrical stations in the nearby area because, uh... There's some buildings that I just cannot explain away for the life of me. Okay, here we go. This is one of those military access things. Got him. And then I'm gonna leave. I only wanted to kill the boss just towards the one boss progression. Can I actually get this just right off the rip? It's got a lock pick, damn it. This hatch is so gonna break any second now. Yeah, I figured it would. Alright, time to the pickaxe. Yeah, I cut off both your arms. You're kind of useless to me, zombie. You should just kind of fall over and die. Come on. Got it. I am trying to actually open these now that I think about it. I probably will forget about these in the future if I don't do them now. And then there's this one right here. Like I said, speedrun. Leroy Jenkins. Right here, right? Yeah. Oh, it's down here, I see. You're welcome, survivor. Didn't see a thing. Exactly, you didn't see a thing. So technically this is underneath of me, so here let me let me fall here. The dark hollows area. Am I not allowed to get into it from here? How does one get into a dark hollows area? Oh, by taking the front door. Nice. That's it? How the fuck is that it?
Find the val- What valuable? There was nothing in here. Am I stupid? I'm, I'm not fucking doing that right now. I'm just saying, it's like, bro, I swear to God that there's no chest or whatever the hell that they're wanting me to look for. It just doesn't exist. I don't know why I also can't pull up the map while I have a paraglider out. I just don't know why. See, the thing is that once I get all the stuff, like, on my map, I'll be able to know exactly how to prioritize them. That way I don't have to worry about doing literally anything that I don't want to. Like, sure, I might randomly walk over here and it's like, let's say, a race, but then I can dedicate stream to, like, let's say all the races, or I can have it where it's like all parkour, or all the side quests, or, you know, a good majority of something. Because technically, that was one of the reasons why I ended up probably liking the certain games that I did, was I literally did do the stuff that wasn't a part of the main story. I think pretty much every game I've enjoyed so far is games where I do pretty much everything within them, because I can appreciate them more. Like, sure, there is some stuff that was kind of boring, but I find it entertaining, to be honest. And, uh, I guess I'm just assuming that a lot of you guys wouldn't want to watch it because, well, technically other YouTubers don't do these types of things where they uh, do it. Unless, I guess, they are completionists. But I guess, I'm, I guess I'm used to people normally doing it faster than me. And so I just always assume you guys get bored, but maybe you like it this way. I don't know. I, I guess I gotta just to stop assuming that you guys get bored. I mean, hell, technically, things like Ghost, um, I did the exact same thing, and that went on for, like, four months, and you guys loved it. Okay, so we have a train station here. So this will be another good way to get fast travel, at least in this area. Problem is, though, is that it's daytime. So, I gotta go to this Peacekeeper at Territory and swap it to nighttime. So that way there's no, like, volatiles or some shit down here. So I had to sleep. <laughs> and then head back. Okay. There's outside escalators. When would that even be a thing, even in a subway? Oh shit. Fuck.
So in a chase, if I uh, have something come after me, then I can't stop them at all. Like, it doesn't matter how many times I kill something. If they just want to come after me, they'll come after me. That seems to be the case. Well, they ain't coming after... Never mind, they're still coming after me. Apparently, they can scour buildings. Why the fuck did I not have my, uh, grappling hook out? Why was it stuck to UV? Oh well. Hello, my G. Hope that you are doing well, Galabursko. Welcome back to another stream, homie. Hope you're having the best day ever. If not, I will make it sure that it is your best day ever. That's what I always try to do with these streams. After the fall? How's that an achievement? What did I do? Oh well, fuck it. Move, move. Out of my way now. Wanna make sure by the time that I got in here that that thing wasn't howling at me again. Hey, Mel, what's up? Excuse me. I guess technically they treat this as a dark zone, so no matter what I do, it's going to spawn in some viral zombies. Damn it. Though it seems like a lot of them forgot about me. That one zombie pursued me, but that was it. Yeah, very, very true. Although I will say this is that speaking of achievements, I'm still excited for Good Guy Nick, man. I am so fucking excited. It's going to be so cool because Left 4 Dead is going to be one of those few games that I technically would have done everything at this point then. Like, I was talking about game completion over the last several days, and I think from now on, um, I'm going to consider myself a game completionist. Even if, let, let's say, that I don't do um, achievements... Because I realize that that's more specific to the uh, the platform of the game rather than um, the game itself. Oh, I realize this one's covered in like radiation. And the reason why I say this is because yes, even though I, I say I'm not going to prioritize it, um, if I am in the mood for it, I'll still do it anyway. But I was going to say it's not like a must must because I've realized that if I play like let's say on all the different platforms. See, I don't think Nintendo has any sort of achievements, but at least on uh, Steam, Xbox, and PlayStation, you know, you've got their version of achievements. And so what I was going to say is that, like, let's say I play the game on one platform one day, and then I move over to another platform, or just, like, let's say that I'm playing a game and I'm rotating between all the different variants because, like, a lot of games have, like, cross-progression now. Um, unfortunately, one of the things that doesn't carry over is achievements. So, like, for example, if I have PlayStation trophies, they don't convert to Xbox achievements or vice versa. So, there's no point in earning them unless I plan to stay on a certain console, but I play everything. So, unless it's only available as an exclusive, then there's no real reason to go for it. 
And plus, also, I played on uh, different variants of things, and some are more definitive than others, and have, like, for example, like, let's say there's achievements on a specific platform. So, do I go for one on a certain version? I mean, the hell that narrows it down does make it easier. Like, if a game is an exclusive, like, let's say, on PlayStation, then sure, go for the achievements, because it's only on that. Or, like, let's say that uh, on Steam, like, for example, Left 4 Dead, the PC is the definitive version. So, now that I have the definitive version, when I used to start off on Xbox... Uh, I don't have to feel as bad about, you know, grinding Xbox back in the day because I didn't know any better. Because uh, Left 4 Dead on PC is the definitive version, so I can get all the achievements that are ex exclusive to that. I get that. Um, it's just that, what if, like, let's say that the game does become cross-progression, but I want to play on multiple platforms, not just one. You know what I mean? Like, you see how it can get problematic. Or, um, another thing is, too, is that, like... What if some things are locked by a pay-to-win play uh, uh, paywall, or they're like seasonal events, and like let's say I have work or school, or realistically my own life outside of games, I can't bully myself. I get that content complete. So from now on, I am literally labeling it as a hundred percent completion. If I uh, end up doing achievements and collectibles, but I'm also going to do it if I just complete the base uh, story and side quests and the secrets within the default game without having to pay like extra money or uh, seasonal time shit. Because uh. Completionism in a game back then is different than it is now. In fact, actually, I think that completionism in its its literal sense um, is kind of an outdated thing because modern games you don't exactly complete anymore. Unless it's maybe a single player game at the most is like you have DLC. Oh, I gotta unlock this too. Damn it. Like, for example, the modern games that I have uh, completed, air quote, were... Uh, single-player games because they don't get updated nearly as much as a multiplayer game okay I found the sweet spot got it Like, for example, the only games that I've recently, like, I guess you could say 100% completed, uh, minus achievements, is Ghost of Tsushima and Spider-Man on, uh, the PS5, like, one with Peter. Not Miles Morales, but, uh, Peter. That's everything that was in the default game, or at least the default game, and plus some DLC. Like, stuff that was guaranteed to be there no matter how long I took my time, it didn't expire, and, uh, I didn't have to also worry about being platform-specific. Because technically, I think at least Spider-Man Remaster is on PC now. Now, I will just tell you this, is that even though this may change, because the thing I just I just told you now was changed from what it was, like, literally even as early as a few weeks ago. For the longest time, I always deem 100% completion as literal 100% completion, but, uh... Things change, and I gotta realize that's a little bit unrealistic with modern games. Although, all the games, I will say this is that if I want to, I can go back and do 100% completion. Or if the game's just not getting updated more, because some modern games, after a while, do stop DLC to uh, make their sequels. Just eventually they will, at least. But if I am in a certain kind of mood, though, I will definitely... Uh, do achievements, hence the Left 4 Dead one with good guy Nick. It just fits. 35% of your games you have have 100% achievements. Oh, this became like a little peacekeeper area. Let's go. Uh, no, yeah, I agree with you, Glabersco. That that's definitely a really good thing. You should try your best to do that. You should try to do 100% completion. Alright, get an inhibitor off the counter. I also have a combat point now, too. I got par parkour and combat. Let's go. Almost complete with Aiden, guys. Almost complete with Aiden. Probably should get dart, just because I get a boost of speed that way. I want to really run faster. And, uh... This just looks fucking brutal. I'm, I'm going to get that. Smash jump. Like, dude, these are so brutal. These are so fucking brutal.
Uh... I'll keep my purple axe equipped it on me and just get that out of the way because otherwise I'm probably not ever going to use it. Okay, so that's the fast traveler. I'm pretty sure each one of these has to have a fast travel. Like, it looks like that's not, like, based off the map or, like, even a decent amount of coordinates. It literally looks like there's one in every single area. So there's probably going to be, at some point, a fast travel down here that I missed. And there's probably going to be one in the Renegade area down here. And then maybe even here and here. I got this one here. I got this one here. I now have this one here, and I have this one here. There's only like four areas it could... I know for sure it's got to be one down here. And I know for sure it's got to be one over here. It's not gotten around to it yet. And then... Technically you can fast travel to these two. So does this work then? No, I can't. Okay. So the bigger places you can also fast travel. So I can fast travel here. I can fast travel here, here. Why does this not have one? There's not even like a check mark. There's these, but that's weird. This one particular area doesn't have one. Huh. Weird. So I got to assume it's daytime because it just says go to sleep. It doesn't say wait till the next day. So we're going to go back outstairs. Oh, no, it's nighttime. Maybe I misunderstood. Maybe go to sleep means that it is nighttime, not that you go over to nighttime. Alright. So, Aiden, go the fuck to sleep. I can sing you a lullaby if you want. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, you motherfucker. Go to sleep, go to sleep, you dumbass motherfucker. Dude, I should be like a, uh, uh, making a soundtrack for the next, like, let's say, Door the Explorer, or Kid Show, or Barney, or whatever the hell. I think I'd be a hit songwriter. <laughs> Presenting his new one hit single. Go to sleep, motherfucker. <laughs> oh yeah, dart definitely gives me a speed boost. Holy crap. So I found a parkour challenge. Head this way now. Feet? They renegades? I guess they're renegades. Hey guys. Just gonna use my purple thing. Cause it still is kicking a lot of ass, I'll just say that. One of my friends got me into achievement hunting, he showed me the webpage and you can take it to uh as com uh, where you, uh, you can take it as completion. There you can see what achievements you have on Steam, how many people on the page got it, how many points for the achievement. There is a link where you can see how you got it for you. I just liked the idea of going for achievements because back in the day, I used to watch um, Rooster Teeth with Achievement Hunter. And I just liked the idea of just, I guess you could just say mastering something. I very much like the idea of like just being just completely good or, or great at something it just fascinated me it's like you know you can show off a little bit and you can be proud of yourself and you always can you know step up ascend to the next level something that you may have not known that you would have liked or you can figure out that you're good at something that you uh would have liked it's just that um you don't know that unless you try holy shit that's a jump what the fuck Use? So there's no problem, right? Don't belong here. This is a PK outpost. 
This challenge can only be started during the night time. Do you want to go to that day phase? I, I don't even know what this is yet. What, what is it? Yes? The Dream Factory Combat Challenge kills many affected as you can with a time limit. I don't really feel like doing that, though. Although it was kind of weird, though, how it, like, did, like, just teleport us to nighttime. No, yeah, but Glabersco, I, uh, I agree with you. I, I like the idea of that with like, your friend, like, um, you know, showing off, like, your achievements, like, by looking on a leaderboard. I like the idea of mastering something because, uh, you know, you, you just, you're, you're, I mean, humans are capable of anything. And just, like, it's just a goal of mine to, like, uh, have these experiences with gaming. And I want to be able to unlock uh, all the stuff to get more of said experiences. And uh, plus also, it's just kind of novel when it's such a rare achievement. Because then you can also kind of like brag and you can like, and you feel special about it, you know? Now, not everything that's rare is special. Not everything that's special is rare. I get that. But sometimes you get those nice combos where, uh, I'm not going to lie. Everyone wants to feel like they're kind of like, you know, unique and exclusive. Everyone does. You'd be lying if you said you weren't. What the fuck? A zombie just jumped out of nowhere. I most certainly am probably going to get a chase scene going on here. Somehow I actually managed to avoid that howler. I am shocked. And to be honest, like, achievements really weren't even a thing for me back in the day, because, uh, like I said, um, Nintendo doesn't really do achievements, and, uh, I was originally a Nintendo kid. So, like, I originally would just play the game, and there was no achievements that, that were, like, exclusive to the console. It was just you play the game, and you unlocked everything, and then you played the story, and that was it. That was literally all there was. And then I got an Xbox 360... And for the Xbox 360, all of a sudden these, like, secret... I, I treated them more as secrets, like, you know, like, public secrets. That's what really uh, achievements were to me, was just secrets that were publicly on display for you to compare and contrast with your friends. Like, how many of you guys did this cool exclusive thing within the game, you know? And, uh... It was fun because on the Xbox 360, they legitimately were, like, challenging and, and fun and unique. Now, so far, like, let's say on the Xbox One, uh, or, like, even the PS4 era with their trophies, they're kind of really just either ridiculously hard, and they're not really novel or fun anymore, or they, uh, they're just ridiculously fucking easy, and, like, they are just extra gamer score. Microsoft is cool, because if you get a certain amount of gamer score, they literally will send you things. Like, uh, there was one time that, uh, Ray from Rooster Teeth... Uh, back when he was still doing Rooster Teeth stuff. Um, he had, like, over, like, I think a million Xbox gamer score back when consoles were more of a thing than PCs for gaming. And, uh, he literally got sent stuff by Microsoft just for having achievements in their games. So I was like, oh, I want to do that. That'd be fucking cool. You know, it would be almost like a, a real-life sense of completionism. Another, can it not be a fucking parkour challenge for once? It's like, can that be the tail end of what I find at the, like, beginning or whatever? Okay, did I miss any question marks up here? I don't think I do anymore. I think I got them all. No, I have the two up there. But other than the single two up there, I, I literally don't have any more. I have that one, this one... I basically have all the shit down here. So I got four, five, six. Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven over here. One, two, three, four, eight. Eight over here. Okay. And I got another one. So that's eight. So that's 16. I have the three up there. So I got 19, like, in total. So 
Zombie, can you stop spanking my ass, you good sir? No, yeah, but, like, uh, basically for achievements and everything is that, like, uh... They were more novel when I only played on the Xbox 360, because at the time, you know, moving on from Nintendo, the only thing I had was an Xbox 360, and that was the only thing you could get achievements on was an Xbox or a PlayStation, I only had an Xbox. So, my rule of thumb was like, you know, hey, I'm going to go for these as long as I can. In fact, in Left 4 Dead 2 on Xbox 360, I only was missing like four achievements altogether. Although, I will say this is that they were possible back then, but now I'm pretty sure unless you have a private lobby and you boost, they are impossible in public day. Maybe. Not not necessarily. I mean, no, no, nothing's truly impossible, but is it worth your time? Probably not. Because the achievements that I, I have left in Left 4 Dead... um. You know, if I can get them on the definitive version, which is the PC now, because pre-Last Stand they were kind of equal, but uh, now the Last Stand made the PC version the more definitive one. Uh, I was going to say it's not really worth it to go back to Xbox, just to say I have it at least on the Xbox version. Unless I was really bored, like, hey guys, I'm going to redo the last bit of the Xbox achievements so I can say I have those too. But, uh, like, two of them would definitely be absolutely possible still, but... The other two would probably require me to boost, because they require, um, players. Which is, I think it's Strength in Numbers and Wedding Crasher. A strength in Numbers, unless I, I boosted with that, anybody, would not be possible. That would be not obtainable in 2022. Or at least it just wouldn't be worth my time. It needs to be worth my time as much as it is just a, a novelty. That's what it should add to my uh, experience, not take away from it. Why is Aiden falling? A fucking parkour challenge? Are you kidding my my dick? I will say this is that this definitely is good for getting Night Runner XP. Oh, there's a zip line here. Just let me take this because right now we got volatiles. Yeah, level three just spawned in volatiles. Fucking hell! Damn it. Fucking Christ. These were all parkour, are you fucking kidding me? Jesus shit. You see the things they all pop up out of underneath of the uh the air ducts, so I can't really stop them. I think the only way you literally can avoid them on uh, chase is just to get to a safe zone. There's no way you can just hide from these guys. I guess unless maybe you do this where you just fly out, jump off of a building, but that that's a little bit of an extreme. Smoothie? Smoothie. Oh, nice. Hot damn. Thanks. It says uh, blueberry, so you know it's yours. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. 
You can feel free to say hello. People oh. haven't seen in a while. Okay. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Moab has returned. What's up? Not sure they can see me from there. Yeah, hold, they can. Hold on. I have to... Now this is the throne from which I will destroy you. <laughs> Happy gaming, everybody. The cycle is now broken. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, so that was my dad for the first time in a bit. Yeah, but now let's go. We've got a smoothie plug. I can't remember, like, legitimately the last time I had a smoothie. Thanks, man. What was the other thing you said? My best achievement is only 28 people, and it's really hard to get because if you want to go with your friends, you must have at least 12, I think, for a lobby, and uh, get a random certain character and do a certain thing. It, well, some achievements is like, uh, the, uh, it's like, stand on your right foot, don't forget it, bring it around town. You gotta do this, and this, and this, and this. It's like the SpongeBob thing where they're trying to show you how to blow a bubble. It's like the, the amount of hoops that they make you gotta go through. It's, it's just like it's like Jesus Christ, man. At that point, I might as well just like switch games. Like some achievements um, are also linked to the multiplayer side of things with the game too, as well. And then therefore, once again, it does kind of make it just once again kind of this thing where it's like, is it even possible? Because <laughs> some 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 things when they're in a multiplayer driven sense, their their time based off of the amount of player interest just as much as there is um fucking um the ability to do it in a game based off of whether the devs will allow it. Hypothetically the devs could allow a certain achievement to be a thing, and uh if the players don't play the game anymore, then uh how the hell would it be possible? Which is one of the reasons why I'm a little bit worried about good guy Nick, is because as much as I am excited for it still um, if we can't boost the achievement, then, you know, we have to just hope we get lucky in, you know, 2022, where the game's over a decade old, and just hope that somebody wants to play the game for free. I'm hoping that people will be able to figure out a way to, like, let's say, get this achievement to happen. Like, let's say they'll either, like, get their friends to, like, go around and, like, help out people to ask, or, like, you are allowed to boost, or something like that, because I don't know if I'll get just sheerly off of randomness. I can't guarantee that... What the hell? I can't guarantee that somebody after a decade is going to play a, a, a decade-old game for free and uh, not rage quit or die or whatever. So I'm just hoping that it works out for the better. I was gonna say, I'm really hoping that, like, you know somebody, or I can get one of my friends to do it, to, like, somehow get, like, let's say, people to be a free-to-play account, because I don't know if it's gonna be like, oh, well, we know that you have another account where that has Left 4 Dead on this PC, so we can't let you make a smurf. Like, I don't want it to be something like that, so I'm, I'm just gonna hope that if somebody knows somebody else, then maybe we can all together work to get this achievement. That's my hope. Okay, now how the hell do they want me to do this? There's a rope? Got the rope. I see. Pretty much ever since uh, I've been starting to do these windmills, I've heavily invested into upgrading Aiden's stamina. That would be much easier to get these done in the future, because before these used to be impossible. Mm. 
I love how that technically all that that animation was was just taking the the cord out and plugging it back in. It's like, how do these PK officers, like, assume that these things break? Do they just look at and be like, well, guess stop turning, I guess it's completely broken. Did nobody ever think to do what Aiden just did and literally take the thing out and plug it back in? That's the most basic form of tech support. It's like, if you try taking it out, plugging it back in. Yo, dog. Look. I got a giant Slurpee. I'm on a giant Slurpee cup. I got a cheeseburger. Let's go. It's on the top of that fucking building again. Ah! Alright, well, how the fuck am I supposed- Hold on, I'm gonna go back to the area that I just left and, uh, make it daytime. There is a sleeping quarters. Okay, good. It's in this crate. Hell yeah. There were so many people talking all at once, I have no idea what they, they fucking said. <laughs> You know, I mean, I live for this type of shit, like this adrenaline rush type of stuff, like with the parkour. I've done parkour before, but damn, dude, I have no idea how some people have the cojones to like run and, and like jump off of fucking buildings. I, gu I guess technically this is very efficient. I mean, I, I like how that this game does make it where you can be cool and badass and efficient with the parkour, but it's like, bro. <laughs> I mean, like, bro. <laughs> like, it, it's a. Wait, what the hell is that by itself? When was that a thing? Why is there an inhibitor just by itself at the border? The hell? I right, found a a fast travel. Uh, that, that's weird. Why the why the hell is the inhibitor by itself? And you can't even see it unless you zoom in. It's like it's a glitch. But fuck. Okay, well, technically, I understand that this is going to be during the daytime, so this is probably going to have a lot of zombies, but there's nothing at this point that I can't handle. I don't even really ever plan on looting these areas anyways. I just want to turn the power on. Oh, it's Renegades anyways. Even better. Perfect. I saw the power was on. I was like, oh, wait, this might be a Renegade area. Because th these guys I don't mind taking on. It's the Volatiles I'm more worried about. These guys, all I gotta do is just kill them and just get them out of my hair. Forgot that I can't kick unless it's another key bomb. What's my kick button again? What did I bind kick to? I think I bound it to E. Right? Controls, keyboard... Key bindings. Oh no, kick is Q. I 
forgot I did that when I was trying to fucking um, swap my keybinds around to make the more efficient things in different places. Because technically it's much easier to kick with Q than it is to kick with, uh, what was it, Z? Or like left control or something? And why the hell does Aiden keep putting away the axe? Like, stop that, Aiden. Aiden, stop. What the fuck is Aiden doing? He, like, puts it away and then, like, and, and like... Is running put away your weapon every time? Can I not, like, force it to pop out? I was hoping by left-clicking that he would just put it back out, but, uh... He, like, hesitates. Yeah, I was gonna say get fucked, buddy. I got more moves on my my arsenal than you think. Why is this guy able to spam his melee? Stop! I'm trying to use F to spin him around. Do I need a certain amount of stamina to do it or some shit? Why is it not working? Fucking Christ, just fu I'm gonna use this. This guy's standing toe to toe with me. Like, what the hell? I normally can I stun him? Necessarily long, like holy shit. I forgot the Renegades since they're in here. Uh, they already had the power on. I just had to flick the switch. So... These two things are on a building that I can't reach. This is just by itself. That's a VNC tower. But this is technically a PK area, isn't it? Yeah, it's Peacekeeper territory, so... What happens if I just change the VNC tower? Or, or does it just automatically go to them again? I guess we'll see. Yeah, so I got these. And I got these. Like, I'm assuming some of these are on buildings. Yeah, some of these are on buildings. And then... That was on a building. These two are basically on buildings. What about this, though? Like, the one inhibitor. Why is that just there? It, it, it's, it's just weird to me that that's just by itself. Like, the fuck?
Okay, how are we gonna do this? Like, how the hell am I gonna get up to that building? Are, are they honestly just expecting me to parkour? You know, let, let me see something. I can't even grab that, I don't think. No, I can. Wait. Ha! Okay, um... <laughs> That's a tall-ass building, I'll just say that. How the heck do they want me to climb this? thinking I don't even think I can get to it from climbing I think I have to I think I have to do this from another building I'm gonna give up on that for right now, like, not permanently, but just for now. <laughs> oh my god, that guy was a dumbass. <laughs> He's like, catch me if you can, and then all of a sudden he, like, runs into a zombie, and, like, <laughs> I can sense the oh shit moment, like, in his head, like, where he realized he fucked up. <laughs> He's staring at me, running away, zigzagging all this shit, smacks into the zombie, trips, and then I just jump his head off. I'm sorry, but that's just funny to me. Here, let me fast travel over here. We're gonna get the renegade stuff. Why not? And also, it's four, so I will really quickly uh, cycle my work clothes into the washer and uh, not washer dryer, and I'll be right back.
Okay. We're back. Are we near a GRE zone, or is this where the inhibitor was? No, the inhibitor was in the the uh, the thing here, this way. It is this way. Is this that one where it's like underground again? find a spot and where it is. Wait. How's this? It's like somewhere around here. Am I missing something? Is it like under the ground? Yeah, it's like, yeah, there's a crate under the water. That's what I thought there was. I was gonna be like, I swear to God, there was one underneath of the water. There must have been, because there was gonna be no way to explain that otherwise. 